next ko lang. In a while that I did this, it's like probably like a part or two of last year. So I think I end up with flex ko lang 18, flexing some of the toys that I, you know, I don't have. I just want to promote them, tell something about them. So it's like I'm flexing, even though uh, it's not mine. Because I just created a group like uh, recently. I'm trying to gather some people here in the Philippines collecting designer toys. I feel so glad because I was thinking before not much of people collecting designer toys here in the Philippines. Mostly like hot toys, they are so high. Like everyone's a scaled group in the Philippines, they are hot toys. If you're gonna use the name of toothpaste, like uh, can I buy some Colgate, but you're preparing for toothpaste. So one six scale is like that. It's like any one six scale is from the hot toys. Actually, I feel so out of place when I'm uh, trying to connect with those people in the group. So nobody recognize my toys. I've been doing this probably like uh, almost a year now. The channel that I created is like I had the anniversary already, like probably last year. I forgot when I started because I'm starting this a long time ago when I was, uh, you know, having the channel of Emma Telegrama. Still uh, active today, but I usually put in the, those kind of content, like unboxing toys, in Emma Telegrama. But now I created my own, like Laron Emma, so at least I can showcase uh, some of the toys that I collect. This Pexy line is gonna be all about this, uh, oh my god. Actually, it boosts my uh, blood again. It's like this guy woke me up. I never remember Bonehead Rex anymore, but when I saw the picture of this guy, Nick Diaz, oh my god, this one is insane. It's like uh, my, my blood, my blood goes through my veins again and trying to pump me up. Something like that. It's like shit. Oh my god, sorry for my word, but I don't know. I want to say that, but shit. Oh damn, shit. As you can see at my back, so that is Bonehead Rex. Bonehead Rex from Glitch Network, or I should say God Complex. So God Complex has been in uh, business for a long time already. So I just learned, uh, you know, collecting designer toys from 2016, and then uh, my first figure is Mount King. There's a lot of Bonehead. I think there's three types of Bonehead. So Rex is my favorite. I don't have him, man. Trying to find Bonehead Rex last year, but man, from $185, so they are selling bonehead regs probably I think like 340 USD. Shit, that's a big bunny man. The price of this bonehead regs is too much for me. It's like, my god, I really want to have them, but uh, putting a budget of 340 dollars, uh, I need to think twice. Seeing him again, mm, what the hell, man? Oh my god. I'm gonna show it to you right now because the one at my back is uh, not much but man when I started creating the group and then they keep on posting the, the toys that they have yeah see what the hell man see he has a power already the last time I saw him he doesn't have power but you know because of the shot of Nick Diaz oh Jay oh Jay oh Jay is so good man he put some fire! Fire! Oh my god. Oh my god, man. I'm telling the truth, man. Uh, probably you never seen me like this for a long time, yet, but man, I'm returning the flex for now because I'm seeing a lot of things today, man. Oh my god. See, man? What can you say? What can you say? That's that's the meaning of the love of toys, man. Designer toys is like that. Oh my god. <laughs> See? Woo! Nick Diaz is not having a diorama background, it's like a simple background, like probably same like mine, like you know, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, the ceiling is very normal, it's like inside your house, but man, looking at that figure, F, that's a F, F word, like a big letter F, oh my god, now I realize that uh, on that time that I found a $340 bone in Rex, I should put that one. On that time. Not today anymore because I don't have $340 to spend. <laughs> Woo! La la. I really like the mechanic arm that they put in the face of Bone and Rex. 
and then the head scalp. The head scalp, shit. It can compete the MWR, I'm telling you. MWR and then this bony Rex, they can join together, man. Oh my god, oh my god, Nick. So good, man. It's putting life on the figure. I know a lot of people doing this one, but man, yay. Ponzi scale, ah, ah, oh! oh wow, love this, I love this. But you cannot do it anymore, man. I need to wait when Nick Diaz probably takes some time that he get, uh, you know, probably get, uh, he get, uh, what do you call it? Sawa. But man, I'm telling you, just uh, hear this, man. One six scale, Pinoy one six scale, DV one six scale, any one six scale in the Philippines. If you're going to take a look, if you're going to go to their page or our group, you will see hot toys, hot toys, hot toys, non-stop hot toys, hot toys. They keep on posting hot toys, but what are they posting? They are selling hot toys. That's what I'm trying to say. They are selling hot toys. You will never see any designer toys that they are showcasing there nobody it's like i don't know probably i saw one uh, photo of uh, one guy selling jd studio one week ago like that recently one week ago he's selling a new jd studio because he needs some money but people selling toys because they don't want it anymore it's not happening man people collecting designer toys they're keeping it for life man oh my god they're not they don't give shit of selling it. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're not selling it. Because the designer toys, they just love them. Like me. You will never see. I'm telling you. Because me, I keep on looking at, at the group. But nobody's selling it, man. But Hot Toys, there's a lot of people selling Hot Toys, man. It's like hundreds of them selling Hot Toys. So, what is the meaning of that one? They need money, probably. It's easy for them to give up that figure because they don't want it anymore. But designer toys, you will never see. Putting myself, man, you will never see people selling this. Nobody. Because they want to keep it, man. They really want to keep it. And then, hot toys figure. Here we go again. I'm not telling you that don't collect hot toys or hate hot toys. Because I collect hot toys as well. I have hot toys. I sold them, Iron Man. But I'm telling you, the value of this toy is uh, not that much. It's like when it comes to uh, you know investing some figures and collecting figures, uh, probably I will not say that you buy them because you know the price is gonna increase uh, after after we bought it. No, it's not gonna happen, man. It's very little or not that much. Some people will react on this one, but for me, what I've seen in the market, like probably. Uh, some Iron Man's is getting high, or probably like the Hawk Buster is getting higher because you know uh, it's really hard to find something like that. But most of the hot toys that they you know release, imagine the Silver Centurion probably like $300, but now you can only sell that figure for $120. You cannot generate money on uh, hot toys, I should say. But probably some people will react, but based on my opinion, because I have hot toys as well but not that much but that's the thing that i observe because a lot of people selling it that's what i'm trying to say but seeing this man even i asked nick come on it's not gonna give it to me because every uh once the scale that they have on centers that they have is that a holy grail for them <laughs> holy grail man and they're not gonna give up that 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 figure, man, I'm telling you, I think it's 2016 as well, if I'm not mistaken, or 2015. I'm not really sure, but it's a long time. Bone and Drex, but probably they release it again. But I'm too late on that time that uh, I've seen the God Complex. It's like, I have JT already, like probably, uh, uh, I collect JT for two years already. And then suddenly I saw this one, it's like, it's too late already to have them. And then they're still releasing God Complex, but I don't like the, the design that they are releasing. It's like God Complex from the word itself. It's like, you know, Sasuno and then some figures that uh, it's really not uh, for, 
for the line that I have right now because JD Studio is like animated version and then MWR is like this bone like, Actually, you can you can compare God Complex to MWR, but the thing is the God Complex uh, clothing not really realistic because I'm into realistic figure. I want them to to wear the clothes that I'm wearing right now, something like that. So if you want, you can visit Nick Diaz. Uh, Instagram, you will see a lot of photo regarding this uh, kind of toys. Actually, it's not only uh, taking a photograph of desire toys. He has a lot. So mechanic design, I will post the link below so you can see it. all of the picture that he has is so good. I'm telling you, so good. It's one of the guy that put a life. Now I'm trying to revive the flex school lang. So Nick Diaz, he deserved this one. It's like oh my god, <laughs> when I see his uh, photo. <laughs> Man, I, I remember when I created the group, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, I'm still looking at their picture, man. I'm telling you. Especially for those figures that I don't have, like Bone and Rex. Hey, man, I don't have this guy. I respect all of the toy lines, especially the hot toys, because I have them as well. So that's only my opinion. When it comes to investing, or if you want something that you would keep for the rest of your life, something like that. So designer toys is one of them. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like it. Laro and Emma, flex ko lang. Nick Diaz, shout out, shout out. Thank you for, for those people who want to join my group that I created, the Sion Toy Philippines. The Sion Toy Philippines is available for everybody. If you want to see some designer toys and then you don't have idea, it's our pleasure to join our group, the Sion Toy Philippines. I will put down the link below. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you for those people who joined, you know, the first 60. I love them so much. For those people who share good photo like Nick Diaz, I'm gonna have a next episode regarding to your photo as well. Just stay tuned, Laruan Thank you guys. Desire Toy Philippines.